Well, it's certainly been a tough year economically for the aviation industry. There's signs of life at Piaggio. And as a matter of fact, there's signs of growth at Piaggio. How'd you do that? Well, we, as you know, Jim, when we, we've talked in the past, and I have to say to you, we, we, we approach the economic downturn in the market somewhat differently to other manufacturers. We used it as an opportunity to look at our own business and decide when the downturn is over, What's the business going to look like? What do we want to have? And what you see today at our press conference is really the result of the activities we started a couple of years ago. We looked at our manufacturing operation. How could we make it more efficient? How could we make it leaner? What did we have to do to have a bigger company? Well, our solution to that is we're building a new plant that will be much more efficient and enable us to increase our volume to around about 45 or 50 aircraft. Think about that. That's nearly a Piaggio a week from a company that previously had, was only able to make 20 to maybe 30 planes at maximum. The other thing for us is the traditional markets were down in the dumps. Western Europe, North America, nobody was buying anything. So at Piaggio we went out and we said well where are there new markets that maybe aren't so economically affected and where could we go? So we looked at Australia, we looked at Brazil, we looked at the Far East, we looked at Russia. We now have certification in Russia, certification in Brazil, certification in Australia. We're able to sell planes there. And I have to say to you, as the traditional markets come back in Western Europe and also North America, our new markets come on board as well. We end up with a bigger business and we now have the plant to build the planes as well. We just approached it differently and I think our strategy has proven very successful. What markets have proven to be positive for you in the past year? Uh, certainly Brazil because we've done a lot of homework in Brazil and the first aircraft going in there last month the first we believe of many and providing such a strong partner as Algar Aviation I have to say to you Brazil offers us great promise also Russia as well we have certification there we have a strong partner there as well and as a result of that we're going to sell aircraft and that's what we're here for it's a tough climate out there right now. As a matter of fact, Hogger Beach, uh, Bill Boyster spent some time this morning decrying an administration that did one thing, said another, and created some problems for our industry. You got a message for Washington right now about business aviation? Uh, business aviation, yes. I have to say to you, I got caught in an inter interview as well by the same question a few weeks ago with Fox. And you know, it's such a shame because if you look at our industry, here is an industry that's taken no handouts from anybody. It really has had a very difficult time, lost tens of thousands of jobs, and yet is the backbone and a key worldwide industry for North America. And I have to say to you, we need to put time and effort, and the administration needs to put time and effort into the general aviation industry, because from that, look at all the jobs that go on further. We talk about jobs, the people who look after the planes, the people who maintain them, the people who fuel them, the people who build them, the people in the parts supply. There's job creation, so support general aviation, jobs come with it. Finally, the future. What's the future look like? Obviously, some time ago, we, there was quite a bit of discussion about a jet and in this economy. That's got to be put aside, and certainly everybody understands that. But one, you got a, just a phenomenal little airplane, and we know you guys. You're, you're, you're tweaking, you're, you're playing in the background, you're just sitting going a little faster, a little bit more, a little yeah, higher, a little this. Tweaking, you're right. Spill the beans. What's next for the, uh, the Piaggio? Well, I think we've illustrated to you this morning that basically what we're going to do is we're going to be very careful about how we spill the beans. And instead of spilling two or three beans, we're going to spill a whole can of beans. We're not ready to do that yet, but we are going to do that. The thing I think you should take away from this morning is look at our business story and look how there's growth, there's foundation, solid shareholders. Are we likely to produce a new plane? Are we like, do, do we have strong shareholders? I think the future looks very bright for us. But when, when we want to announce that, we'll announce it. Lots of things, not just dreams. Aero TV is brought to you by... The DFC-90 all-digital attitude-based autopilot delivers significant performance and safety improvements over previous generation systems. Its innovative flight envelope protection guards against autopilot-induced stalls, and the straight and level mode provides one-button recovery from unusual attitudes for an added measure of safety.
Immensely popular within the Cirrus community, the DFC-90 is now being made available for a growing list of aircraft including Piper Matrix and Mirage, Cessna 182s, and Beach Bonanzas and Barons. Fly with confidence. Fly with DFC-90.